Hi there, this is Emma from Scholarcy and I'm going to show you how you can quickly set up RSS feeds in Scholarcy Library to keep up to date with the latest research in a particular subject. So I'm in my library's homepage and I'm going to go into my biomedical library. And you can see that I've set up a number of folders already within this library and I've created RSS feeds for each of those folders. So today I'm interested in the latest dermatology research. So I'm going to create a new folder and name that. And then click this little RSS icon here. And this is going to ask me to paste the URL of an RSS feed. So I'm going to head over to MedArchive, uh, which is a preprints archive. And from their subject category selector, I'm going to choose dermatology. And that's going to generate an RSS feed for me on the latest papers, the latest preprints in the subject of dermatology. So I just click this link and copy it. And then I'm going to paste that into my folder. And I can choose whether to be notified by email um, every time I get an update to my folder or I can switch that off. But I'm going to keep that on for now and hit subscribe. And this can sometimes take a little while to pull through papers into a new folder. Um, it can take up to a few minutes, perhaps an hour, to, to start pulling in some papers from a particular RSS feed. But I'm just going to refresh my page and you can see already within this dermatology folder that's pulling preprints from MedArchive, I've got 30 articles. And so what I can do now is go into that folder and start screening those papers and pulling out any that might be of particular interest to me. And I can use the headline summary to do that really easily. So that's giving me a really quick snapshot of what the paper or the particular study is about. And this paper is looking quite interesting to me because I'm interested in non-melanoma skin cancer. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that paper and just jump straight into the highlights to get a quick overview of that particular piece of research, some of the, the key facts and findings from within that research. And then I perhaps want to go into the study subjects and analysis and find out more about the participants that I can do really quickly here and perhaps have a quick look at the methods. And so this is a really easy way for me to pull in the latest research, screen it very quickly and determine which articles are going to be most useful to my own work. 